वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मैक्सवेल्स फर्स्ट इक्वेशन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द मैक्सवेल्स फर्स्ट इक्वेशन द वॉल्यूम चार्ज डेंसिटी इज इक्वल्स टू द डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट डेंसिटी सो इफ वी राइट इट्स एक्सप्रेशन देन इट विल बी लाइक डेल डॉट डी इज इक्वल्स टू रोहो वेयर this d is nothing but displacement density and this rho is volume charge density so this is the expression for maxwell's first equation now we know that this equation is based on gauss law of electrostatics so this equation is based on gauss law of electrostatics and if we discuss the gauss law of electrostatics then according to gauss law the electric field passing through the closed surface is equals to the net electric charge enclosed by that surface the electric field passing through the closed surface is equals to the net charge enclosed by that surface if we write it mathematically then it will be like surface integral e dot ds over a closed surface s is equals to q over epsilon not where q is nothing but the charge or the net charge that is enclosed by that surface and here the epsilon not is nothing but permittivity of free space so the electric field passing through the closed surface that is e dot ds is equals to net charge enclosed by that surface so here is the net charge and 1 upon epsilon not is nothing but proportionality constant where epsilon not is permittivity of free space and q is nothing but charge enclosed by that closed surface now we can write this epsilon not in the lhs also so it will become integration over closed surface epsilon not will come in the lhs and e dot ds is equals to q only and we know that this net charge that is enclosed by the surface is equals to the volume charge density so since the net charge is equals to integration over volume that is volume charge density rho v dv so on substituting this is the net charge and this is the volume charge density on substituting the value of q in this expression we get 
integration over closed surface epsilon naught e dot ds is equals to rho v dv now we can also represent the displacement density that is d in terms of permittivity and electric field that is epsilon naught into e so here is the expression for displacement density so in this expression epsilon naught into e can be replaced with this displacement density so the above expression can be written as d dot ds is equals to rho v into dv and this is nothing but the integral form of Maxwell's first equation. So this is Maxwell first equation in integral form. Now let us derive the Maxwell's first equation in differential form. For deriving the point form equation for Maxwell's first equation, we have to convert the surface integral inside a volume integral. And for doing this, we have to use the divergence theorem. Because the divergence theorem is capable of converting the surface integral into volume integral and it also shows the relationship between surface integral and volume integral. That's why applying divergence theorem we get integration over volume del dot v over a closed volume dv is equals to rho v dv so we simply apply the divergence theorem in the integral form and we get this expression and for deriving the point form or the differential form of Maxwell's first equation, we have to remove this volume integral from both the sides, that is from LHS and from RHS. So on removing volume integral, from both sides, we get del dot d equals to roho so this is the final expression and this expression is nothing but the maxwell's first equation in differential form so this is maxwell first equation in differential form see this differential form can also be termed as point form so in the examination if the examiner asks the maxwell's first equation in point form then what we need to do is we need to just derive the expression for differential form only. So this is all about the Maxwell's first equation in the integral as well as in the differential form. If you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button. Thank you.